What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mo for French Baby Boys. We got Gotham City came all the way from Dallas to close out on his first letter we just have for Willy Walker. Come on. So, man, we're gonna show people, see how much you did from A to Z and how much you made. All of Willy merch and his toys, his bag. They got the neon sign, we got the golden ticket box, his t-shirts, we got sweaters, all of that. So let me open this right now and see what's up, hold on. Check this out guys, Gotham City Frenchies. You know, he's just, he's way too generous, you know, when it comes to his, uh, his partners um, and within his program. You know, it's just a small thing, right? I mean, in three weeks, we pushed six months. You know, it's like astronomical. I mean, I was telling some other people um, in the breeding community about it, and they were like, man, that's insane, you know? Uh, the fact that you guys knocked that out uh, that fast, and it's all thanks to Mo. Um, you know, his referrals, you know, him going through the process and teaching you what to do, and so super blessed and fortunate to be a part of the, uh, French baby bulls. You can get rid of them or because if they're not stuck quality, like people who like to use them, we'd rather just sell them pet home. Yeah. So out of six pups, we had four pups was like, we couldn't, I didn't want to sell it, you know, as a stud. So we kind of let them go as a pet homeowners. Uh, we sold four of them for what, 10K? Mm, yeah, 10K. 10K, we sold four. And then uh, there was two, Females, quality females. First pick and second pick. One was chocolate and ten. The other one was rojo, new shade, uh, and ten. Uh, both Willy Wonka daughters. Uh, we sold both of those. One for uh, twelve, but we let her go for like around what eight, ten. Yeah. yeah. And then the rojo, we sold it for uh, twenty k. So total, if you do it, his first litter made almost close to forty k. And out of I think that was the last female on the part of the deal. I sold it to you for eight thousand. Yeah, yeah. Frida was her name, so I stole it on a cone for eight thousand because he bought two from me. So total, he had spent spent total like fifty k with me when he started. Like a year, how long ago? Uh, exactly a year. A year ago. A year and two days. <laughs> a year and two days. <laughs> so you know, long story short, we didn't just sell, uh, you know, the litter to just anyone. What I what we actually did, we had pet quality and then we had some two of them the for breeding full rights so we did we did so both of them females the total was 40k out of eight so after taking everything out the profit what would you say eight and then your c-section and this that total you would say about so i'll probably spend like another maybe five grand mm -hmm. with like the c-section whelping yeah and if i whelped it myself i would have saved that much yeah yeah, yeah. you know for whelping that but you know rod come from a corporate yeah, so he yeah, works man. he works you know he brings i wanted to stay married still man <laughs> but, you know, I like, <laughs> so. yeah i mean so so to total for his side hustle right i would say for your first litter almost close to 40k in sale yeah. that's it's almost i mean yeah almost, i mean what kind of business can you get into you almost get 100 percent of your return back within the first year and that's not it. You, know, you got two more coming. You got two more coming. <laughs> day, yeah. so that was just from the first that's female. The first female right? yeah, yeah, so you got two more coming in right now. Uh, we got Iraq cash over here. Uh, we had collected. We had 20s, 100s. So we're about to cash them out today. Gotham to your Frenchies, die trusting in French baby bulls. It's only right, you know, make it right and do it the right way. Two more females coming in heat. This is just we're just warming up. Congrats again, my boy. And thank you again for thank trusting for French baby bulls. Show them how much you made total, man. It's a whole bag right here. See that? I know he coming back strong and gonna dump in more. For sure, man. Look forward to it. it <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I had, you know, the main thing is now, like, basically, like, I had made, I've been doing it for six years, so I had made good amount of money when I first started and still making, 
you know, every day still getting stuff services, new clients coming in on a daily basis, you know. Uh, it's just different feeling when you, when when people trust in your brand, like like Erod did from Gotham City. So, you know, I, I want to make sure he stays in, like, he's in the good hands, under good umbrella, you know. So I guide him A to Z through what to do and what not to do. So this he deserved right here you know so he doubled up with not even a year right yeah so this is this this what makes me good it makes me feel good this is what makes me feel good he's doubling up with not even a year and just because of that i know more people are already coming in the line so here you go my boy this is yeah, all for you sure, made in within a year you know yeah. if you want to go ahead say something about gotham frenchies yeah so you know gotham you know city frenchies you know partnered with French Baby Bulls, yes, sir. you know, out in uh, Dallas, Texas. But just like French Baby Bulls, you know, we offer shipping, deliveries, and so forth. Uh, Texas born and raised. Um, right now, I, I have a Merle um, that's uh, the daughter. She's of, in heat. She's about to come in heat. Yeah, she's a, uh, that's the, that's the... Uh, Gigi Lines. Gigi Lines, Picasso and Gigi Lines, right? Gigi Lines, yeah. 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 That girl is small, bro. Yeah, and she looks great. Yeah. Um, also got another uh, black and a chocolate tan fluffy carrier. Um, and so she's about to come in heat. Uh, she's just waiting for Rolls Royce right now. Yep, that's you another know? one we're uh, about to kill. about it. him and waiting, <laughs> waiting for her baby daddy, so... Um, she's a fluffy carrier. She's a fluffy carrier. Yeah, she's yeah. a fluffy carrier, and she, guys, that girl is a little tank. She's a tank, a man. A big old head, little tank. She's a black and tan fluffy carrier. We'll be taking her to Rolls Royce to get that big old dome on the pubs. Yeah, yeah. No, that, for sure. She already has beautiful wrinkles. Um, yep. And it's it's crazy, you know. We got uh, Mo recommended me to go get some professional pictures taken, and. Um, and the, the, even the photographer, like, he's like, wait, those are females? Yeah. And I was like, I was like, they're females. <laughs> I mean, yeah. straight up tank, you know, they, they're stocky, big yeah. chest. And so, um, I mean, it's, they're head turners. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, can't wait. Super excited, um, you know, to continue on and being, bring success to hear my, my little brother, Mo. We're just warming up, up, man. Yeah. I like I told everyone, we're just warming up. Yeah, this is yeah. just the starting beginning of it. It's so much more to come and what we're about to do right now. Uh, we got new studs coming in, so new opportunities, new DNA coming in the whole French Baby Bulls yeah. camp. So, you know, uh, once you stays in it, so we're just going to, we know how to put two together and what we're going to get. Exactly. That's, that's, that's what we do here, you know, to how to double up, how to make your money. Uh, I don't need six puppies or seven puppies to make profit or investment. I only need two puppies, guys. Yeah. I told everyone, your first pick and your second pick, that's all you need from the litter. Yeah. You know, you don't want to sit here and sell dreams and lie to people about, oh, your sixth pick, your sixth pick of the litter, you're yeah. selling as a first pick. Oh, this boy is going to do good. That's, uh, um, you know, one of the best of the litter. No, we don't do none of that over here, man. Uh, if the puppy don't look good, we're not going to advertise. You're not going to sell it as breeding right, full rise. We're just going to pad home that puppy. The Females, the two females we had, we sold it for a good amount of money, yeah. and that's where we made our money at. And that's what I like about that, right? Yeah. I mean, you're honest with the people, you know, um, you're not selling dreams, you're not lying. I mean, it's your brand, it's your recognition. I mean, that's what we live by, right? And yep. so if, if, a, if a dog is not there where it needs, where it has that breeding capability, yep. it's more suited for a pet home. I mean, that's that's what you do, right? That's yep. the right thing to do. And so yep. it's that first and second pick that's going to, you know, it, it's going to be that breeding quality um, and, you know, create more. Yep. No, so, you're right. So what do you... so? Erod was kind of little. Were you stressed out? It was your first litter, or you you were kind of man. You know, it, you know. I th I think it was uh, definitely it was stress. Yeah. There's excitement and stress at the same time. Yeah. Um. You know, uh, the mama. I mean, she was tiny. Yeah. Right. And so, just for the the, the sheer fact that she had six pups mm -hmm. was like an eye opener for me. Yeah. Um. And so, you know, going through that process, you know, of, of the babies being delivered, growing up slowly, getting him, making sure the shots and the eating properly. Um, and then you just don't know, right? Yeah. I mean, this, it, it's a risky business. Yeah. You know, both, both. I mean, of course, like having your first litter, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, br my first litter, I had shit. All pups died. Yeah, you told you me. You know, <laughs> I was depressed. Yeah. Like for a whole week, I was in the room. Yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. part of it. Like you know, I, I, you know, we all have to go through it. it you is, know, and you learn the hard way. I mean, I'll be honest with you. You know, like just yesterday, like Mo was Mo mentioned earlier that you know uh, we rehomed for the male pups. Yeah. That, that for pet home quality. Yeah. And on the drive back, my wife's calling me up three times because she's a huge dog person. She's like, 
don't sell them. Just keep them. Bring them back home. I'm like, what do you mean? Bring them back home. Like, like, really? She said yeah. that? Oh, dang. So like, at least two of them. Two, yeah, bring yeah, the gray yeah. one. I mean, the yeah, I like. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I mean, the way we, we, we are with dogs, I mean, you know, we have our own dogs at the house. We How many two. dogs do you have at home? So I got two myself. I got a Lab and a Rottweiler. Yeah. And then I got three Frenchies. And so at one point, we had, uh, <laughs> you know, nine dogs in the house. Uh, in the house, right? Yeah. They're playing around. Yeah. They're with the family yeah. interacting. Like, Guys, you know, he doesn't have a kennel or no, crates or anything. They all they all live inside his house and the yeah. couch is bad. Up. So, like, <laughs> you know, even with the, the brand new pups that were only nine weeks old, um, in the evening time, we're watching TV and each child is holding a puppy. Yeah. You know, yeah, and we're yeah. watching TV together and we're playing with them. Yeah. And so, I mean, they're, they're so, you know, fully loved. And so, like, my wife was gone. She's like, no, nah, i bring him back. But, <laughs> but, you know, but the thing is, but that's what it is. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. it, it, you know, I, I'm in a position, my, my family and I, and it's not just me, right? I mean, it's, yeah. it's a family effort. Like we're yeah. all we're all in it together. Yeah. You know, from you and me, and we're able to do something we love, right? Yeah. Like, we love to spend time with dogs and with yeah. puppies, and you know, and we're trying to bring that joy to everybody else. You know, that that we that we look to. Yeah. You know, so. No, that's good. I didn't know that she called you and telling you, hey, yeah, bring yeah. the puppies back, man. Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I've already told this. We story. already have a lot yeah, of dogs yeah, at the yeah. house. We're not bringing no puppies yeah. back right now. That's the thing is, you know, it's the timing. You don't want to wait 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 yeah, and then yeah, go yeah. through more hassle and that's and, the thing yeah. right i mean it's a trade-off right and so like you know this is my first year it's my yeah. first litter uh now i'm building my brand with the help of you and and some of the other folks in our yeah. baby bulls community yeah um, and so as that brand and that recognition gets more so that being said uh from god and frenchies appreciate your business man Absolutely, brother appreciate the opportunity and uh there's more to come we're just warming up here yep. uh we got two more females about to come in heat uh, one we're gonna take it to Rolls Royce, and the other one is a secret sauce that we have. We haven't announced it yet, but y'all stay tuned for that French baby bulls. For sure. Take care. Have a good one. Look at look at the C CEO of French baby bulls right there. Y'all see that? Look at him. Not not her. I'm talking about the boy. <laughs> Baby Ibrahim. <laughs> My new toy, AMG CLS. This bad boy is sexy.